We've had Zoom apps for some time now, but with the new update, these apps have become better integrated with Zoom. Specifically, let's talk about Prezi Video for Zoom and how it can take your presentations to the next level. Let's get started. If you have a Zoom Pro account and you log into a Zoom meeting, the first thing you will notice is this dock on your right hand side listing all the apps that are currently installed in your Zoom account. You can move the apps up and down by dragging them like this. For example, this is Prezi Video for Zoom. If I want this to be the first app, I just move it on top like this. This dock is controlled by this option apps at the bottom of your Zoom window. If you click on it, the dock will disappear and if you click on it, the dock will appear again. You can also scroll through all the available apps or search for an app by clicking on the search button and type the name of the app, for example, Prezi. If the app is not already installed in your Zoom account, you can click on it and you will get an option to install the app. In my case, since the app is already installed, I can just click on open the app. In its present version, the Prezi video for Zoom allows you to do two things. The first is to create a lower third. A lower third is where you enter a name of a person and perhaps his title. As you can see, it has already detected my name from my Zoom account and displays it as a lower third along with a nice color accent. If I don't want to display the name, I can disable it by clicking on the name tag here and the lower third disappears. To enable the name tag, click on the name tag once again. If you want to customize the name tag, click on the arrow here you can customize the name, for example, add a suffix and at the bottom you can add a description. And now you have a lower third in Zoom. The second thing that you can do with Prezi video is to add custom text in your video. Let's assume you are delivering a presentation on the importance of communication. Let me type the text here. And the text will be displayed right on top of your camera feed. As of now, there is no way to move the text around or to resize the box. You may have to move yourself a little bit to the left so that the text as well as your camera are not overlapping on each other. To add another text box, click on the plus button over here, type your text and your new text is visible. You can continue adding text by clicking on the plus sign. In addition to the text, you can also add visuals. Do that by clicking on the image button over here this allows you to add stickers, icons, and even images. Let's add a sticker, and this is how it looks. Along with the sticker or the icon, you can also add text. To add some text to this visual, add it here. You can recycle through all the text boxes by simply selecting them. If you want to disable the visuals, you can disable them by clicking here. And whenever you want to enable the content, just enable it. If you want to remove only the sticker and not the text box, click on the three dots and select remove visual. I think this is a great app to create engagement during your presentations. And from what I can see, Prezi already has additional features in mind, such as the view mode and import mode, which are marked as coming soon. In your next Zoom meeting, why don't you give the Prezi video a try? As long as you have a Zoom Pro account, the app is free.